Bolstering India-US defense ties, United States airspace major Lockheed Martin CEO Jim Tyslett hailed the success of India's Make in India campaign and indigenization efforts in the defense sector while on a visit to New Delhi. Tyslett held a meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi along with National Security Advisor Ajit Doval on the 18th of July. On its social media account, Lockheed Martin wrote, as a trusted partner of over three decades, we recognize the promising talent and capabilities of the local industry and remain committed to strengthening the defense and industrial ties between our two nations." Unquote. In response, Prime Minister Modi applauded the defense giant Lockheed Martin for realizing the vision of Make in India, Make for the World. Prime Minister Modi's office posted on X, quote, CEO of Lockheed Martin met Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Lockheed Martin is a key partner in India-US aerospace and defense industrial cooperation. We welcome its commitment towards realizing the vision of Make in India, Make for the World, unquote. The significant meeting comes after Lockheed Martin already shifted their operations to manufacture helicopter cabins for the twin-engine dual-use S-92 chopper from Japan to India. Lockheed Martin is a U.S. aerospace major, a firm principally engaged in the research, design, development, manufacture and integration, and sustainment of advanced technology systems, products and services. Military and strategic capabilities in areas of aerospace, naval systems and missile defense all have been enhanced by Lockheed Martin's provision of advanced technologies for India. Meanwhile, Sikorsky Naval Utility Helicopter and shoulder-fired anti-armor weapon Javelin are to be manufactured in India. Now Lockheed has gone ahead to make a big-ticket offer to India, the F-21 fighter jet. We know this as Memorandum of Understanding with Bharat Electronics Limited has been signed by US defense giant aiming to explore industrial opportunities in the F-21 program. The pact comes after Tata Group of India and Lockheed boarded on a joint venture to make 29 fighter wing ship sets at the Hyderabad-based combined firm Tata Lockheed Martin Aerostructures Limited. A joint production of the F-16 wings in India by the Tata Group has already placed India as a central player in the F-16 fighter jet global supply chain. But should India even consider buying the F-21s because they are considered an upgrade to the F-16s, but one step behind the F-35 or even the F-22 Raptor? Will F-21s suit the needs of the IAF, or does India need a proven stealth jet like the F-35 or the F-22? The US aerospace and defense giant has been aggressively pitching the four India from India F-21s for the Indian Air Force's proposed 114 multi-role fighter aircraft or MRFA program. Lockheed claims that it has already invested in India by creating a Tier 1 and Tier 2 suppliers list, calling it an aircraft which can fit perfectly between the indigenous light combat aircraft NCA Tejas and the heavier lot of Rafale or the Sukhoi 30 MKIs. But what makes F-21 special? The F-21 packs more punch than the F-16 Block 70 combat jets as it's specially designed and well-suited for Indian requirements. The F-21 boasts superior capacity as it has stealth capabilities, endurance and combat prowess. Its superior capacity, advanced radar systems and digital situational awareness make the F-21s stand out as a formidable deterrent against potential threats as the threat of a two-front war from Pakistan and China looms large. This as the Indian Air Force desperately requires real-time battlefield intelligence. The F-21's lightweight and single-engine aircraft will not burn as much fuel as twin-engine aircraft due to its 30% lower life cycle cost and carbon footprint. Moreover, offering the best value with a 30% lower life cycle cost, the F-21 promises to be a force multiplier for the IAF. The F-21 program could see India become part of the $160 billion global sustainment market becoming a key to an affordable technology. There is no official confirmation by the Defence Ministry yet, but experts have called the F-21s a stepping stone to the F-35 Lightning II, as India looks to diversify its fleet of aircraft, which consists mostly of Russian fighter jets. India is contemplating a two-fold strategy. Firstly, to finalize the IF's long-pending requirement of around 100-plus twin-engine multi-role fighters for the next two to three decades, it will help maintain India's depleting squadron strength of fighter jets, while HA and LCA Tejas Mark IIs replace the older Mirage 2000s and Jaguars over the next decade. India's own stealth jet, the Amka, is still a decade away. With 31 fighter jet squadrons against the sanctioned strength of 42, India is also decommissioning its aging MiG-21s and MiG-29s soon. Hence, Modi 3.0 considers it even more significant to beef up the IAF strength. The urgency has made Air Marshal Cho suggest that India should consider the F-35 stealth fighters and 
possibly even the F-21s as an interim solution until the indigenous AMCA arrives. Meanwhile, it's not only the US who's trying to keep India on its side, Russia has also spoken out on India, calling it a 21st century superpower. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov criticized the quote, unjustified pressure placed on New Delhi by the West over its energy cooperation with Moscow. Lavrov said, and I quote, I think India is a great power that sets its national interests, determines its own national interests, and chooses its own partners. And we know that India is being subjected to enormous pressure, completely unjustified pressure, in the international arena." Unquote. India and Russia have a time-tested partnership for decades. And while the new alliance with the United States does provide India with the easiest path towards military modernization, alliance with the West comes with its own cost. US and its junior partner Canada have been shielding and nurturing anti-India radical elements, which is unacceptable to India. If US seeks closer ties with India to counter China's expansionist threat, then it must stop shielding separatist elements and instead take action against the same. The F-21 or F-35 cooperation would be beneficial to both India and America. However, it cannot come at the cost of India's sovereignty. What do you believe? Should India even consider the F-21 or will only the F-35 or the F-22 Raptors suit the needs of the Indian Air Force? Leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe to Incorrect Deals.